and it is truly for me an honor, uh, both uh, for uh, as a director of the program and as a person uh, to be introducing uh, our guest today. Uh, he's not only a maestro of uh, classical music, uh, he's not only the world renowned, probably the world uh, preeminent a scholar and a musician uh, of Tambur, uh, but remarkable as it is, he's even a more remarkable human being. Uh, it is humbling to know him uh, because of his humility, because of his humanity, and because of his dedication to his music uh, and to Iran. And it is very appropriate that for no roots, we have someone who's going to be talking from the Kurdish region of Iran. If you read Shahnameh, the great epic of Persian poetry, where uh, Nowruz is described and everything else is described about old Iran, it is also indicated that the Kurds are truly the most original Persians. They're the ones who escaped the brutalities of Zahak, went to the mountains, and thus was, according to Shahnameh, uh, the Kurdish people. So it's a great honor. And he is going to say uh, an introductory uh, few words about no roots, and then we're going to all be regaled by his performance. We'll start the farm with Darkhat Mat. از کنم بودوی شما بنده به همون خاطر شروع کنم اینجا هستم که سوال به من تنبور تقریبا شاید یک قدمتی برابر با نورو داشته باشد یعنی چی که در کتاب ها نمیتون شده قدمت نورو را به سه هزار سال قبل از دولت مسیح پیان داشته یعنی که دوده پنج هزار سال که البته این جشت در خیلی از نقاط دنیا در یک جغرافی های خیلی گستر بکر از ایران کنونی به روز برپا می شده هست و اون چیزی که به طور قط می شود گفت نورود یک جشن در واقع دینی نبوده یک جشن مردمی و حتی فراتر از این یک جشن انسانی بوده یک جشنی که در واقع رستخیز زمین را با خودش به ارمغان و حتی در عوستا که کتاب آتمانی در واقع زردوش که هم در ایرانی میگن حتی در این کتاب هم اسمی از نورود از نورود خیلی در واقع خدمتش بیشتر از حتی نورود زردوش هست یزدی ترجمه کنم با اجازتون بله <تصفح> Uh, I want to wish all of you a uh, happy uh, new year, uh, all of you at the Iranian studies program and all the friends who are attending. Uh, I, I want to begin uh, by saying uh, something about the instrument that I'm going to be playing, tambur. This is an instrument that is as old as uh, Nowruz itself. Uh, Nowruz is said uh, to have been first uh, uh, celebrated 3000 years before the birth of Christ. Uh, it's the same age for Tambur. And uh, Nowruz is a celebration that is uh, enjoyed in many places beyond the geographic boundaries of Iran. It is not limited to Iran uh, alone. Uh, what needs to be emphasized about Nowruz is that it is not a religious ceremony. It is a, a ceremony of the people uh, one could even go further and say it is a humanitarian celebration. It refers to the resurrection of nature and the resurrection of the, of the people. Uh, even in Avesta, uh, the sacred uh, book of Zartosh, uh, there is no uh, mention of Nowruz because it is thought that Nowruz is, uh, precedes even that uh, holy book. از قرار معلوم نوروز فقط یک روز نبوده بلکه یک ایام بوده مثلا شاید یک هفته یا دو هفته و دو تا جشن خیلی خیلی مهم در روزگاران قدیم در ایران بوده یکی همین در واقع جشن نوروز و دیگر مهران 
این در واقع جشنی که در اوائل پاییز برگزار میشده و شاید جشن جمع کردن محصول بوده و نوروز که در واقع اول بهار بوده و جالب اینه که در سی لحن باربود از یکی از سی لحن باربود یکی اسم ساز نوروز و لحن دیگه مهرگانی یعنی در واقع موسیقی که باید در مهرگان نواخته میشه Uh, what needs to be uh, said about uh, Nowruz, uh, what has been said, is that it is not a celebration limited to one day. It is a period of celebration. Some say it's one week, some say it is uh, two weeks. Uh, for Iranians, there were two very important uh, uh, feasts or aid. Uh, one was Nowruz, uh, the other one was Mehrigan, which uh, happens uh, early in uh, fall. And it is probably related to the gathering of the harvest, as Nowruz is the beginning of spring. Uh, in the 30 la of Barbat, Barbat is a great uh, musicologist, uh, there are two uh, known, uh, one is a famous one, one is uh, known as uh, Nowruz and uh, Lahne Nowruz, and the other one is called uh, Lahne uh, Mehregan. So, there are two. <laughs> روزگاران گذشته و چیز مطلب دیگری که باید از کنم اینه که از کدم که نوروز در یک هفته یا بیشتر بوده میگن که پنج روز اول نوروز را در یک یک روایت اینه که پنج روز اول نوروز به ایام در واقع سوق سیاوش می نشستن مردم و در روز شیشون not only uh, are there uh, these uh, lands in Barbad, but in the radifs of uh, classical Persian music, uh, particularly in Homayun and Ras Panjga, there are also uh, uh, corners known as Gushe, I guess, known as uh, Noruz. Uh, one of them is called Noru. There are three of them. One of them is called Noruz Arab. Another one is called Noruz Khara. And what is important about Noruz Arab is that it seems to indicate, because it means uh, Noruz of the Arabs, it seems to indicate that even Arabs celebrated uh, Noruz at one time. Uh, and uh, in the celebration of Noruz, uh, as I said, uh, it's a period that is celebrated. It's often one week. And there are uh, some uh, narratives that indicate that within the first five days, people would mourn the passing of Siavash. Again, Siavash is a very important character in Shahnameh. Uh, and from the sixth day, they would begin the Noru celebration. Uh, so they first mourn the passing of Siavash, the mythical hero, and then they would uh, celebrate the arrival of the new spring of Noru. Uh, به طور یقین ما الان اگه بخوایم در واقع فرهنگ و هنر خالص ایرانی رو در واقع کاملا ما پیدا بکنیم شاید این فرهنگ و این هنر بیشتر در بین اقوام ایرانی باشه به خاطر اینکه وقتی که مرکز مملکت در دست اجنبی میفته مثلا بعد از حمله اعراب یا حمله دیگر اقوام و هر کسی که به دربار نزدیک می شد و می خواست در واقع به روشی که اونا دارن عمل کنه و زبان اونا را بیشتر فرا بگیره اینه که کسایی که مرکز قدرت دورتر بودن اونا یقینا میراستار بهتری باید فرنگ قدیمی ایران هست music uh, in its most uh, uh, pure form, uh, 
uh, I think you have to find it in the ethnicities that live in Iran. And the reason is that uh, when Iran was invaded, the center would be held by the invading uh, foreigners and those who were near them, those who wanted to enjoy the fruits of power uh, would emulate them. And thus those who were away from the centers of power became the keepers of ancient uh, traditions and ancient culture and ancient music. در بین اقوام ایرانی شاید کردا ارادت خاصی به نوروز دارن و من بیاد ندارم که هیچ عید مذهبی و یا هر مناسبت دیگری در بین کردا مهمتر از نوروز باشه شاخصه این در واقع نوروز در کردستان در واقع از هر چیزی معینتر و مشخصتر در واقع افروختن آتش است که در پشت بام ها بر روی قله کوه ها و هر جایی که مناسب باشه در در واقع خود نوروز نه تنها در چهارشنبه پوری در خود شب عید جشن نوروز این آتش اصلا افروخته میشه و داستان های زیادی دارن کردا روایت های گوناگون برای در واقع نوروز یکیش اینه که میگن کیومرس در اهریمن پیروت شد و گفت اگر من به اهریمن پیروت شدم در قله فلان کو آتش میافروزم و شما این کارو بکنید که در واقع با هم از این پیروزی باخبر بشید یکی دیگه میگه نه روایت دیگری میگه که در واقع نه پیروزی قاوه آهنگر بر زهاک ستمگره و بعد از پیروزی کاوه این جشن برگزار شد یه روایت دیگه که بیشتر بین یارستان ها کده یارستان و ایزدی ها بیشتر مرسومه همین روایت است که میگن در واقع در واقع زادن که خسرو به عنوان سیاوش بعدی از نظر تفاکر تناسخی و به قول کده گردش دونادون میگن در واقع اومدن که خسرو به دنیا در واقع نوروزه و خب از اون طرف بازم میگم که بنیاد بزار نوروز جمشید بوده این روایت ها بسیار هست برای جشن نوروز امانگست ده کردز در ایس کلیرلی نو فیست در ایس سیلبریتد مور جویسلی در ایس نان در ایس مور امپورتن در ایس نو ریلیجیس اید در ایس کنسیدر تو بی مور دن نوروز And one of the most uh, specific aspects of Nowruz for the Kurds is uh, start uh, fire. They start fires. It's not contrary to uh, Tehran and other parts of Iran that do this on Charsham Besuri, the last uh, Tuesday of the year, and they or jump over it. Uh, but they do it everywhere they can, oftentimes at, at top of mountains, and there are several uh, stories about uh, amongst the Kurds about the origins of uh, uh, Nowruz. Uh, one, uh, and all of these are of course recounted, I think uh, in uh, uh, Shahnam as well. Uh, one of them is that Nowruz is the celebration of uh, the victory of Kumars by Ahriman or the, uh, the devil. Uh, the other one, uh, and uh, at that time Kumars says, if I win, Uh, my battle with the uh, Ahriman, uh, I will light a fire atop a mountain so that you know of my uh, victory. Uh, others say it is a celebration of the victory of Kave uh, over Zahak. Zahak is the ruler that comes from uh, Arabia and rules over Iran with a great deal of uh, injustice. Uh, for uh, the Kurds of uh, uh, Yaristan Kurds and the Izadi Kurds of Iran, Uh, Nowruz is a, a celebration of the birth of uh, Kei Khosrow, uh, who is in a sense a reincarnation of uh, a new uh, Siavash. Some also attribute the birth of uh, uh, Nowruz to Jamshid. I have to say that one of the things that may be able to do is that in the past of the Nowruz and the past of the Nowruz and the past of the Nowruz, ببینید در بین مردم کرد یارستان یک روز شمار یک تقویم هست که بیشتر به تقویم های سقدی و خارزی شدید یعنی در واقع یکی دو ماه 
خصوص دوتر اتفاق میفته بعضا بهار یا پاییز یا هفت پس دیگری دو ماه دوتر اعلام میشه که مثلا فرض کنیم اول پاییز مثلا اول مرداد میفته مثلا حالا این روز شما در واقع هر ماه سی روزه در این تقویم و پنج روزی که میمونه به 365 روز که این میفته دقیقا قبل از عید و این پنج روز را تو این فرهنگ بهش میگن پنجه تار پنجه تار تار به معنی تاریک و خیلی ها فکر میکنن به معنی تر هست یعنی مثلا جدا ولی نه به معنی پنجه تاره و این شاید در واقع همون پنج روزی است که سوگ سیاوش در واقع باید اجرا می شود و در روز شیشم که خود رو به دنیا می آمد و جشت صورت می گره There is another story uh, that isn't told uh, anywhere else as far as I know uh, and that's the view that the Yaristan have uh, about the birth of uh, about Noruz Uh, the Yaristan use a different calendar than every, anybody else. It is a very unusual calendar. Things often happen earlier, two months earlier than the regular calendar in the rest of the uh, country. Uh, in this calendar, every month has 30 days. And then there is that five days that is uh, remaining of 365 days. They call this the Panjegatar, the five tar. Tar could mean many things. Some people, Uh, have different interpretations of what it means, but I think it means the five days that people spend mourning the passing of Siobash, and the sixth day is the beginning of the joys of uh, Nowruz, as I as he explained earlier. But the five days of the day 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 of the پیشانی حیواناتی که پیشانی پن دارن مثل عطف و گاوها نماد خورشید کشیده میشه و ما میدانیم که اصلا یارسان ها در واقع به تناسخ اعتقاد دارن یعنی به حلول ارواح و تناسخ و اینا در واقع این پنج روز تار را دقیقا مثل آخر شب از اون تاریکی دم صبح که بعدش یه خورشید بیرون میاد و دنیا روشن میشه اینا همه به هم رفت دادن و اینا معتقدن که وقتی که اونجا سیاوش اونجا در واقع شهید شد خب میدانست که دوباره در قالب پسرش که خسرو برمیگرد و مردم اعتقاد دارن که که خسرو برگشت و جشن دیگه باید جشن بیاد در واقع سیاوش در برگشته و جالبه که یک آهنگ هست در مقامات کردی به اسم چمری چمری یا چمرا چم به معنی چشم چشم درا یعنی در واقع وقتی کسی که میره کسی که میمیره این آهنگ رو مینوازن که بیدن در واقع ما چشم دراهیم که برگشت و اینا همه در واقع باورهایی که بوده و هست و دست به دست هم میدن که مثلا برحال امیدی باشه همیشه به رایش و به برگشتن و به فراخی و به روشنایی و به نور و طلوع آفتاب هر زیباست دورنگ دیس فایف دیس دیس آسا ویری فاسینیتنگ ستوری فاسینیتنگ تردیشن امانگست یارستان Uh, and that is that they make from uh, the dough uh, uh, the, the symbols of uh, the sun and then put these symbols of the sun uh, everywhere they can, the front doors in the foreheads of uh, animals. Uh, the Yaristan believe in uh, uh, return, uh, uh, the transubstantiation, the resurrection. Uh, and these five days, are deemed to be the five dark nights of, of, of waiting. Uh, they believe that when Siavash died, the hero that I mentioned, uh, Kei Khosro uh, knew that he would return and Kei Khosro was his resurrected soul, uh, is Siavash return. In the Maghamata Kurdi, there is a, 
a kind of music called chamari, which is short for chesh or awaiting, uh, 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 awaiting chamari. That in, in, is in a sense uh, a celebration of uh, hope, is a celebration of rebirth, is a celebration of opening, is a celebration of right light, and it is a celebration of the eminent uh, rise of the sun. Well, as for now, we'll show off our band, you'll lay off our two direct to Lani Nisha, as for now, for Master Shoma. The sun is the other, the sun and me, the Noruzi, what is the Heli, the sun of Kashangi, I get on Bali. The valley, which is the Kimakas Namagam, Kehosro. تنها پادشاهی بود که بعد از اینکه کارها را راست کرد و به عدالت در واقع عدل و اجرا کرد دیگه نخواست پادشاهی بکنه هرچند دیگران هم مثل زال و رستم و نظام گودرز و تمام بزرگان و فریختگان از اون خواستن که این کار را ادامه بده و حتی فکر میدن دیوانه شده ولی ادامه نداد و تنها پادشاهی بود که به میل خودش و uh, he says uh, there are other wonderful stories about uh, uh, Noruz. One is uh, Mira Noruzi. Uh, Mira Noruzi is very similar to uh, stories that uh, Shakespeare also in one of his plays uh, uh, plays uh, on. It's when uh, it's the thirteenth day. Uh, when people become king and uh, they play uh, roles. Uh, Gorshiri, whose uh, papers are at Stanford, has written a brilliant short story called Mira Noruzi. Uh, and then he mentioned uh, Keikhosro. Uh, he said Keikhosro uh, is uh, the only monarch in the history of Iran uh, who, once he achieves justice, once he achieves what he has set out for, he decides to resign. Uh, people think he's gone crazy. People think he's uh, uh, not altogether there. But he does stand uh, in a unique place that on his own volition, when he thought that he had done his uh, mission, uh, he resigned and went uh, away. Uh, I should add that uh, 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 there are people who have written very eloquently about Keikhosro and about how the Iranian mythological history uh, would be better served if Keikhosro, uh, instead of, for example, even Rostam, becomes the iconic uh, hero. Uh, Hoveida, Feriduna Hoveida, who has written eloquently using psychoanalysis and uh, uh, Shahnameh, uh, has written a whole book on just the point uh, that uh, 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 was very briefly uh, mentioned by Maestro Moradi. So, thank you, Orban. Khairi khairi mochaker. Besiar amuzande bud. Moshtag shenidane betay shoma hastim.